What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Austin Show. Today we're looking at these Hasbro Power Ranger figures. So I don't know exactly what they call these, but they are some of the cheaper Power Ranger figures and box design wise go along with the Megazords we've been looking at more recently, those cheaper Megazord action figures. But we have the Red Ranger, Black Ranger, and Yellow Ranger here from Mighty Morphin. So that would be really cool to get these. There's not a whole lot to them like our box designs. As I mentioned, is kind of like those Megazords, which had like the VHS box design, which used to have the same box. So you have the cutout for like the VHS design, but the overall box doesn't look like a VHS and I thought it'd be cool if they did design them like the VHS's so they did the VHS tapes based off like a certain ranger so each ranger had their own box I thought it'd be cool if they like recreated that with these but it looks like it's just the generic action figure box and so nothing too special for the 30th anniversary of Power Rangers and on the back we have our figure and the accessories so I thought it comes with some cool accessories especially like that power coin and stuff that is pretty cool so pretty awesome to get these overall so we have the first wave here again of just these three figures so pretty cool to have them so I'm excited to check them out so let me get them open out of the box and we'll take a look at them together. So here we got our three rangers out of the box and because they are pretty much going to be all exactly the same, same movements and stuff, I'll just do them all here together at once. But it's really cool to have these three. Of course, I would like the whole team, but we've got the red ranger, black ranger, and yellow ranger. So it's cool to start building up another Mighty Morphin team of rangers and different figure sizes. So like I said, these are the cheaper figures, so they're going to have a lot less movements and overall design and stuff. They still look pretty good, like especially the red ranger here looks pretty nice. You know, the all red spandex outfit with the white diamond on the chest, the white gloves with the red diamonds, white with the morpher of course the morpher has nothing in it it's just a gold coin with the holster on there spandex continued down to the white boots with the red diamonds and they even have the black bottoms painted on it which is pretty nice so overall pretty nice details the helmets look pretty nice as well so the visor with the teeth all around it there for the tyrannosaurus mouthpiece and the little eyes up top so that looks pretty good as well nice like bulbous helmet stuff so it's not like the lightning collection first one we had that had like the tall thin helmet so they did a pretty good job like I said these are going to be much cheaper figures so we don't get a whole lot to them the accessories are pretty cheap but come with some cool things and overall I don't mind these too much like I don't mind cheap figures as long as they look relatively decent I think these kind of fit the bill so we'll do the movements on the Red Ranger here so the head can twist all the way around it's pretty stiff but can twist all the way around and then it has a little bit of rocking barely in at all but it does move the shoulders come up to 90 actually can go a little bit higher there and rotate around we get a single elbow joint that can bend pretty much to 90 and has some rotation in it and that's all the movement we get in the arm no waist movement or any thing but the hips can come up to 90 and then out to the side they can come out really far because of that ball joint so it can come out over the split so really far movement there for the legs so that's a lot and then we get a single knee joint that can bend back pretty much to 90 and has rotation there as well and that's it for the legs so no movement with the feet so a little bit hard to get them to stand up you have to definitely mess around and adjust the legs like get the knees twisted and stuff to get their feet to stand flat but once you get them they stand up pretty well and don't fall over the biggest issue I have is with the yellow ranger but either way still not many issues but like I said, it's going to be hard to get poses and stuff like that because of the limited movements, which is unfortunate. But there we have the Red Ranger. So let's go ahead and just look at the Black Ranger here for a second so we can see his helmet design with the Mastodon. Again, looks pretty good and pretty similar. All same body design, just like the Red Ranger, but in black this time. But the helmet does look really good. And then, of course, same goes for the Yellow Ranger. But she's the female, so she's got the much thinner body and joints. So that's maybe why I have some more issues with her. But then she has the helmet with the saber tooth tiger design. So the teeth and the eyes and the little ears and nose and stuff there the saber tooth look good looks like her diamonds may be a little bit weird a little bit too much connection they didn't get the points connected too well but overall she's not too bad but i do have more issues getting her to stand than the other two but with the figures we have the weapon accessories so each of them come with the blade blaster but like for the red ranger his comes with the sword mode or the blade mode so we have it there so of course they're going to be all in white much like the old original toys so we have the blade blaster all folded up with the blade sticking out and so with this we can stick it down into the holster here so you can just slide it down in there of course has the blade sticking out or we can put it into his hand so let's just slide it in his hand here for now so there's the blade blaster in his hand i did just want to show you that just so you could see what it looks like in his hand and then of course he also comes with the power sword so it'd be nice to have this all painted stuff but it looks really nice nice details and everything run through you can see it with the textures and designs and stuff all running through there so that is pretty nice so let's put this in his other hand so there's the red ranger with the sword and blade blaster in his hand and what i like most about the figures is they come with a power coin of course it's real cheap and stuff but it's cool that it has come with it so so we get the power coin it's just this all gold material whatever everyone call it. it has power rangers on the back and it's just a plastic so cheap plastic with a sticker that's got like this holographic design so the t-rex for the red ranger which is pretty cool so nice to have them like I said really cheap and stuff of course I have like the bandai metal one so that's going to be good enough to have any power coin but it's cool that they included power coins with these cheap little figures and stuff so we have the tyrannosaurus there then we can look at the yellow ranger so give her weapon so of course she comes with 
with a blade blast as well, but in the gun form. So pretty cool to have there. Again, we can stick this into the holster so it can fit down in the holster there, but let's go and just put this in her hand. So there's the blade blaster in her hand. So that's what it looks like there in gun form, but we also need to take it out to give her weapons. So the yellow ranger has the power dagger. So we get the two power daggers again, really nice design. Like, so they put a lot of detail in these little figures. It would just been nice if they painted them instead of leaving them all white, but let's slide these in her hands. So there's the yellow ranger with her power daggers. And then she has the coin as well with the saber tooth tiger. So nice holographic saber tooth tiger there. And again, power rangers on the back. So again, awesome to have the power coin. And finally, that brings us to the black ranger. So for our weapons, first we get the blade blaster in the gun form. So again, we'll just go ahead and stick this into his holster just so it sticks right in there and then give him the weapon of the power axe. So that looks pretty cool. Again, very nice details designs all through it. it does have the thing where it can move back and forth. So that's pretty nice there. So I wouldn't be surprised if they're able to do the power blaster when it comes to that so of course we need the bow and billy's lances so probably we'll be able to connect all those together but pretty cool to have that so let's go and put this in his hand and we'll probably just do it in gun mode so there's the x in his hand in the gun mode so kind of hard to get it with the hands you have to get him to twist around and everything to be able to get the hands and i had to slide that piece forward there but was able to get it into his hands for the gun mode there so there we have him with that and then of course we got his power coin of the mastodon so nice holographic mastodon with power rangers there on the back so pretty cool to have those power coins so pretty cool to have these figures like i said they're really cheap i don't know if they're going to be easy to get like i haven't seen them anywhere yet but it's pretty cool to have them i think i ordered them off like hasbro pulse when they were put up a while ago but still pretty cool to have them, like i said pretty cheap ranger so not necessary but i overall like the design and thought it was cool that they came with like the little power coin and stuff like that so that's pretty much the reason why i got these figures so pretty cool to have them and i can't wait to get at least the other two rangers i'm sure we'll get a green or white ranger to go along with them but pretty cool to have this these three so far to start out the wave so pretty awesome to have red black and yellow ranger and these cheaper hasbro power ranger figures so let me know what you thought of them down in the comments and if you enjoyed this review let me know the thumbs up oh and thank you all for watching i hope you all stay awesome out there and i'll see you in our next review